God's not going to be interested in you walking around the streets like a pauper. No, that's another father's plan for you. He wants you rich, but you got to do it his way. And his way, based on what Jesus said over there, is actually, you can actually infer, if you read this passage of scripture, because he was talking to the rich young man over there, he says, well, get rid of distractions, come learn how to be a disciple, well, you learn how to be a disciple, I'm going to load you back on, I'm going to load you back on. That's his, that is his strategy. So you're going to give everything else that is distracting you from jacking up your righteousness quotient. That is God's preference actually right now in Christ Jesus to get you loaded with physical resources. You trade the distractions in your life to come and learn how to be a disciple of Jesus. And in the process of learning how to be a disciple of Jesus, your righteousness quotient is going to grow. And as your righteousness quotient grows, you are stacking up your money where moths will not corrupt it. And that is literally the back of hell. You are sowing over there with your righteousness quotient. Your righteousness quotient is growing over there. And all of a sudden, that righteousness quotient is going over there. You have a lot of money in the back of hell. I'm talking about literally, literally money in the back of hell. Oh, but I don't see it. You don't have to see it. Well, you're going to know that you are loaded with a lot of money in the back of heaven and his before you speak something is going to happen. Circumstances are going to start getting arranged to get your needs met even before you think about it. That is as a consequence of a high righteousness quotient which somebody else will not get their story even though they may have a trillion dollars in Bank of America. If Yahushua needed a million dollars to feed the crowd and this, during his earthly ministry, he would have gotten it. Using the same righteousness quotient that he depended on during his ministry on that side of eternity. And that's what he gives you an invitation to come learn of me. His invitation is, you guys come over, come learn how to stack up your account to the back of heaven in the name of Jesus. Come and learn of me. He was not a pauper at all. But where is his money? His money is not here. Where is his money? His money is in the bank of heaven. What's the challenge to you? What's the challenge to me as well? The challenge to us right now in this generation is to learn how to work, how to operate like that, to stash up our money, which is going to be your righteousness. Of course, we're talking about when you stack it up over there where moths cannot corrupt and when you need it, you're going to get you to download it by one word. Supernatural prosperity. That's what God wants for you on this side of eternity. You've got to believe God for it.